we're headed to deal with a gentleman that is well known around town. I've had contact with him where he's armed with knives. So he's definitely somebody you have to be careful of, but because we deal with him all the time, we kind of know what to expect. Right now, he is threatening people at a dog park, like climbing on the gates and fence and threatening people as they're trying to leave and fight with them. Oh, there he is. Sometimes our only option is no, to arrest you. No, I'll leave. Just don't arrest me for being a little bit. I can't take it. OK. I love you, Wiener. I can't play with you, man. It's not a game. 10 4. He definitely has problems brought on by excessive use of methamphetamines. I'm not your enemy, Wiener. Even when he's not using a lot of drugs, his brain's so scrambled, he can't really communicate in a normal way anyway. I have the feeling we're going to see I, you again today. So I need to go with you. It's, you want to ride some more? I want to ride so somebody will take this situation All serious right. enough that this is my life. Listen, this is just a warning. We're done. Chances are pretty high. We're going to see him again. needles or weapons on you? I have weed. Okay. You have weed? Yeah, I okay. smoke weed. What are you well, gonna give me for stealing teddy bears? Did you take these? These are for little kids. I know. I was in what are you going to do with them? I'm giving them myself. Please, Lord, forgive me. I've caused death. All right, have a seat, man. Do not Sit down. Take a seat, bro. Sir, this, will you let me explain to you? Sit, no, no, I no on the seat. Put your feet in. Please Put your feet in. It's not a game, waiter. I can't just... Put your foot in. I'm fighting your spirit. And I'm All right, that's good. And your flesh. Hell, that bolt of curse on you. Because you're a cop, dumbass. I'm not her law. Believe me. Something got Just disorderly conduct. It doesn't matter. Are you getting blood on my window? Stop it. You can't. Stop. You stop. If you listed all the repeat offenders within a certain time period of committing a crime again, and it's probably a small percentage, but that small percentage affects everybody. And unfortunately, I'm the one, and the police department's the one that deals with these people over and over and over again. And we can't be as proactive as we want to when we're so short-staffed. Another day at the Fairbanks Police Department. A guy came in to report that he was attacked by a male with a machete. He was with the guy's wife, not sure if anything was going on. The husband found out, exited the apartment holding machetes. The keys are right here. Fairbanks Police Department, what happened this morning? Mm, nothing happened. No, nothing bad. It's nothing happened. And then it was here waiting for me. OK. And that's it. So when when did the machete come in? <laughs> when, when did the machete, the big knife, come into play? He's got cuts and bruises from where he was hit. Your friend? No. Well, he just said that they fought. Yeah, but no. Okay. They didn't fight. No, I'm a swear to God. Well, okay, do you want to see the pile of blood that's out here? He was bleeding on his hand because yeah. he hit something. Yeah, the machete. Yeah. According to the law, we have to arrest him, okay? Um. His wife is not very happy about the situation. She's uh, not very happy at, at the victim, in this case, for calling. So um, I guess we'll, we'll see where it goes from here. 